Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the Healthy Joints Healthy Lifestyle Show. My name is Dr. Arinola Dada. I'm a rheumatologist in the Greater Seattle area. So I'm going to talk to you today about ankylosing spondylitis. So um, what is ankylosing spondylitis? It's such a big word, right? And I like to think about it about it as a family of conditions, right? I feel like it like it's a spectrum. The most severe form is what's known as ankylosing spondylitis, but there's an umbrella category where people um have have a gene the HLAB27 genetic marker typically tends to tie this condition together so ankylosing spondylitis is one um, some people may have Crohn's where they have inflammation in their gut some people may just have eye disease where they have uveitis some people may have psoriasis and arthritis so these conditions typically tend to have like this gene HLAB27 genetic marker associated with it so specifically people with ankylosing spondylitis so typically have had back pain for years they can even date it back to their teenage years and the back pain tends to be inflammatory and so when we say inflammatory we're really talking about pain that tends to be worse without activity so you're sleeping you're minding your own business you wake up in the morning and you are so stiff and it takes you like an hour to loosen up in fact i remember patients that would tell me hey if i don't play tennis if I don't exercise before bed, I'm going to be so stiff in the morning, I'm going to have difficulty waking up. And typically for ankylosing spondylitis, that pain is in the back. Men tend to have generally a more severe form of ankylosing spondylitis than women. Um, women um, may have ankylosing spondylitis, but it may have what we call skip lesions so that there is you know you know uh some vertebrae may be involved in the spine and some are not. Basically, the immune system has has um, decided to cause inflammation in the ligaments and tendons that kind of hold the vertebrae in the spine together. And so when it does that, it causes basically bone growth. And so it can be so bad that the, uh, the spine can be encased and look almost like a bamboo spine in very severe situations, right? So very, um, associated with the gene, um, inflammatory pain typically people can date it into their you know late teenage years um, early 20s um, typically gets better anti-inflammatory medications can help but again I always warn people anti-inflammatory medications can irritate your stomach and also affect your kidneys but the good news is that there actually is medication in addition to lifestyle changes so exercise is a very important part anti-inflammatory diet is a very important part we also have medications called biologics that can actually help to prevent the immune system from damaging the joint so if you think you have ankylosing spondylitis talk to your primary care doctor they'll refer you to a rheumatologist and there are definitely things that can be done to improve your quality of life so if you think this video has been helpful like it share it follow us on healthy joints healthy lifestyle show you take good care bye bye